Good morning, everybody. Hope that you're doing well. It's the day after our performance, which means the festival is technically over, but there's one more thing that we gotta do today. Tell them what it is. We are going to breakfast at the Skinny Pancake, and hopefully we will see some of the performers that, are, that have not left yet so we can say goodbye. And then we just have the whole rest of the day and night to ourselves. Yeah, today's kind of like a farewell, breakfast, brunch, wrapping things up day, which is very bittersweet, but it's also, it's also kind of happy too, you know, we're celebrating a really good festival, a good time, I know I am, and yeah, we're gonna go and we're gonna have some fun and we'll show you some clips from that. So let's get to it. Did you enjoy that? So Thank good, you. right? Thank you bringing me here. Yes. Of course. Vegan gravy is delicious. Yes, vegan oh, poutine. Who knew, right? Mm -hmm. I knew, but <laughs> yeah, so, so good. Before we leave, I want to show you all something really, really cool. So down this way is the Endangered Species Mall. They have paintings of all of these beautiful animals. I'll show you a little bit right now. There's a whale right when you walk in. So cool. And if you walk down a little bit more, it's the rainforest. You can see the tiger right there. We've got another whale, some dolphins, sea turtle, polar bears, so cute. Gorillas, rhinos, red panda, elephant, shark, do 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 do. <laughs> but it's so, so cool. So at the end of the hallway is the Main Street Landing, which is where I performed last year. And we're gonna go look at it before we head out. This is the theater where I performed last year. We can't go in right now, but that's okay. This is where I did pink shoelaces and it feels like everything's coming full circle now. Back in the hotel room, just chilling a bit before we head out into Burlington once again. Again, still very, very cold, so we really do need to get warm. But since I have a sec, I'm going to talk to you all a little bit more about how it went last night. I know I said I was going to take pictures backstage, but honestly, I was so into performance mode. I got to make sure that everything's set, everything's ready to go, that I just kind of lost track of doing that. My apologies. But overall, it was a really, really solid performance. It was kind of insane when I got on stage because the second I started dancing and looked out into the audience, I saw my parents and I was like, oh boy, they get to see me take off um, my top and skirt and end up in pasties and a G-string. Great. <laughs> But honestly, it, it was fun because my parents are ridiculously supportive of me doing burlesque. I remember when they came last year, that was the first time ever either of them had really seen a proper burlesque show. And I don't think they knew completely what to expect, but they were proud of me. They were proud of me for getting on stage and doing my thing last year because they knew how much work I put into it with the costume, choreography, all of that. I think it's weird for any parent to see their child doing a strip tease, but they know how much work I put into each act and all that. And this year was no exception. My dad hugged me immediately afterwards and said I did an awesome job. My mom did the same thing, which is great. Performing this year, I um, performed in the hotel, like I said. I was in the ballroom area, one of the ballrooms, I think there's a couple, but it was interesting because the stage actually had a uh, drum set, keyboard, a couple other things, because there was a live band for some of the shows. So when we were rehearsing, in my mind, I was thinking, oh God, oh God, don't whack the drum set, don't run into anything with your fans. But it all went well on stage, it was totally fine. There was a little bit of a mistake when I did my act, when I took off the skirt part. Um, <laughs> this, this is silly, my skirt actually got caught in my G-string, which has never happened before when I've done Zoo Zoo, but first time for everything, right? The skirt still came off on time, which is fine. I hope this doesn't show up in any of my photos or videos, though. One of the sequin strings that's on the skirt, like I showed you, 
get, did get stuck in the g-string so i'm hoping that's not super noticeable i noticed it the minute i got off stage and even if it's noticeable i hope it, it, it at least looks good and not distracting we'll see <laughs> but yeah um the thing about this festival is you also get lots of photos and a video of your act that's going to come in a couple of months i always look forward to getting those because they do such great work here with that but yeah, it was it was a really good night. I had fun performing. I keep saying I had fun performing, but I did. Everyone backstage was so kind. All the other acts were really solid and strong. Great ideas, choreography, costumes. It was just great, great time, great night. And I'm so happy that I did this again and that it went well. So that's where I'm gonna stop this part of the video, but we're gonna go head out into Burlington a bit. I'll try to film, try to take photos. If I don't, then I'll see you all in just a little more. Just a little more, just a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Didn't really film a whole lot when we were downtown. And by a whole lot, I mean, I didn't film at all. I didn't really take too many photographs either. It was mostly just what I had um, been showing before. That's okay. But um, I'm here, Rocky is here. Hello, Daisy. I've been expecting you. You were waiting the whole weekend to do that, weren't you? Yes, I was. Thank you for indulging me. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you all another really cool thing, though, that pertains to the festival. One of the great things about burlesque festivals is that you get to meet so many awesome people and you get to reconnect with so many awesome people, too. These are some stickers and business cards that I got from performers, people connected with the festival. I am so, so happy to have these. It's like a cool little collection and just for fun too. This is my business card and I handed out a fair amount of them too during the festival, which I was very pleased with. But yeah, collection again, makes me really, really happy. So even though it's not super late right now, it's only just about four o'clock. I think this is where I'll end the vlog for today because honestly the rest of the day is just gonna be us relaxing, going to the pool, the fitness center, chilling, packing, getting ready to go home tomorrow. Do you have any final thoughts you want to share with them? Um, just thank you all for tuning in and uh, following this little adventure of ours. I had a great time um, performing, just getting to spend time with you, and mm. uh, I hope we get to do this again next year. Me too. I am planning on doing a big kind of final thoughts wrap up video. I don't know if that will be up tomorrow or the day after. It's coming. If I vlog tomorrow, it's really just going to be us going home to New York. Um, we'll see, but it is going to come at some point. My big final thoughts and final reflections on the festival. That video will be coming. So aside from that, thank you all so much for watching yet another vlog. And I hope you all are doing well and take care and I will see you all soon.